Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to Vetflix and Chills Tabletop Gaming. I am so sorry for the sporadic and last minute um, event that I created. Uh, as I said last Saturday when I did my review of the new trading card game Legion's Realms at War brought to us by our neighbors in Canada at uh, Future Lore Studios, I wasn't going to do any more content this week. Uh, due to the fact I wasn't feeling very well at the beginning of the week. And then um, I had plans to go out of town today with my wife. But uh, some things happened. So as you can tell, I'm feeling much better than what I was uh, at the beginning of the week. Where I was just feeling like complete dog garbage. Man, I did not feel well at all. Um, and then, of course, today on our way out of town, my wife has an electric car. We're super stoked to see how it did on its first big long trip. Uh, we made it 89 miles in four hours. Uh, just it seemed like everything that uh, could go against us went against us today. Uh, the first stop we stopped to charge her car. Um, it's supposed to pull like 120 kilowatts. It only charged. It only pulled like 45 kilowatts, which made it charge about an hour longer than it needed to. Usually it takes about 20 minutes to charge the car. It took almost an hour. Uh, and then we got into the good state of Illinois, who decided that uh, this weekend they were going to do construction on every bridge in that state. Um, we got stuck on one bridge for a good hour, and then right after that, there was a uh, car accident, which was about another 25-minute wait. And then as we opened up the map and looked at the map, we noticed that there was road construction on every bridge on our way there, taking a six-hour trip and our T ETA being almost 11 hours in. So we uh, decided since the uh, odds were stacked against us, we would uh, zip it around and come on back home. Got back home around noon and uh, just kind of chilled out for the rest of the day. Um, came home actually for the first time ever, I think in my life, I'm not a nap taker. I was dead tired, decided to uh, take a nap and then my wife had woke me up and she said, hey, you got a package. And uh, I was like, okay, cool, I got a package. I didn't forget, but I was kind of half asleep. And she came in and she brought me this very big and heavy box from Future Lore Studios in Canada with the Realms at War logo on the front of it. So no idea what's inside, but I'm pretty stoked to check it out. Uh, I figured that's why I was going to do this last minute content creating was just to uh, do a quick opening of this box, see see what we got from Future Lore Studios. Um, I know that I said during my reviews, the last thing I want to do was kind of highlight customer service when it comes to a company. Um, but I think that with Legions, Realms at Wars, uh, the TCG, um, we are trying to uh, promote the game here in the States because it's not, it doesn't sell very uh, well here in the States just because, you know, they're having issues with the warehouses uh, that, that uh, stock TCG games and stuff of wanting to take on new clientele. Um, so it's kind of hard to get some of these new games here in the States. Uh, but luckily, Natural 20 works up in our hometown here of Clarksville, Tennessee, off Madison Street. Uh, they, um, they, uh, Janie Bistoli, Bistoffley said cutie, so I know that's 100% my good friend Aaron, who used to actually be my compadre in Vetflix and Chills. Uh, we used to do movie reviews, which we had a blast doing. I know that's him, 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I miss him dearly. Uh, it was a really tragic time for Vetflix and Chills when he decided he had to uh, move out of uh, our town a few hours away to for work but it's good for him a little bit more money and uh just a more friendly environment with uh uh with his new uh work so i miss him dearly man he's a very good friend and we had a blast doing the betflix and chills movie reviews it's just that sometimes life takes us in different directions and we got to do what we got to do so i like i said in my last live i had kind of sat here uh and was trying to figure out what to uh do with the uh channel and i decided hey i'll I'll do what I love as much as movie reviews, and I'll do trading card games, board games, and uh, tabletop role-playing games. I love stuff like Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, there's a couple board games I definitely want to cover. And, of course, Magic the Gathering, uh, Legion's Realms at War, which is one of my favorite TCGs right now. And uh, Flesh and Blood, which we just picked up last night. Me and my good friend Marcelo, we just picked up last night. And played our first game of that, and it was a little... Little different, 
a little bit different uh, mechanics, but I think we got the gist of it after playing one game. And I do apologize. I will be drinking some coffee because I am dead tired. But um, anyway, I said it wasn't going to cover um, customer service, uh, but Future, uh, Future Lore Studios and CEO Taylor Howe have been like so awesome with me um, during my – you know, they, they liked my Facebook page. They they reviewed, they watched my last review, which was of their game, um, which I thought was really cool. I didn't ex did not expect that, um, especially it being my first content creating video in almost a year. Um, you know, as a dad of four teenage boys getting ready to start their own lives, uh, time is limited at some t at times. So. Um, you know, I, I love doing content creating and, and hanging out with people and, and sharing the stuff that I get and I collect. Um, so let's waste no more time and let's just open up and see what Future Lore Studios sent us today. Let me uh, carefully open it with this knife. I don't want to cut anything that might be cuttable. So let's see what we got. Some, uh, some wrapping paper here. All right, so, well, hot damn, look at this. I'm sorry if I may curse, but um, if you're watching any of my lives before, I might throw a few uh, curse words out there. So, we got one, so far, in this very big, massive box, we got one Ravage Lands booster set box, which is about 260 cards, which I am super psyched about opening. I am looking to pull a Demon Guardian which the chances are very low, but I'm hoping to pull one because Demon deck is my favorite deck so far. So, one booster set box. Let's see what else is in here. Oh man, I'm gonna be opening cards all night. I have another booster set box, which if you're looking for the Ravage Lands booster set boxes, you can find them at literally the only place in town right now in Clarksville, Tennessee, is at Natural 20 Works. Um, great environment, awesome place if you want to play games, like five bucks for an entire day to, to rent a table and play games versus some of the other prices around town, which is like $10 an hour. But yeah, some of the best prices in town, super friendly environment. Uh, we went up there a couple weeks ago and played some games. Uh, but if you're looking for some Ravage Lands booster set boxes, that's the only place down you're going to find them. Now, with that said, Ravage Lands is going to be going away the uh, first week of March. We are getting their first expansion of uh, Bountiful Harvest, which I'm pretty excited to see. Uh, I see I'm part of their uh, uh, Discord and Facebook, and sometimes they throw little uh, carrots out there of what's kind of what we're uh, looking to expect in Bountiful Harvest. So I've seen some pretty cool cards. So, so far we got two booster set boxes, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys what the value of these are, because I don't think that's important uh, when it comes to a company sending you merchandise. But I can't tell you it's not cheap. I'll put that. I'll put it out there that way. So them just send me this so far in this very massive box is like I can't even express how thankful I am to this uh, company in Taylor House. So let's uh, see what else we got. Okay, customer service. This is why I mentioned it with this company. I have spoke with the CEO a few times, tried to uh, to to put the word out there on the game. I did mention to him that one of the decks I was missing that I was really wanting to play because I actually do have a Guardian that I pulled for this deck and so, and a Synergy card that I want to try out. Um, man, I don't even say. like I'm kind of speechless, a little bit emotional. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I guess maybe as I'm getting older, I'm getting a little bit more emotional. But uh, this is, goes to show like what good customer service is with the company. I told him I was really wanting to try the uh, Hero and Orc deck because they interested me, and uh, a company that listens and sends you something that you mentioned you were wanting, um, and then they send it to you, I can't express how thankful I am and how awesome of a company Future Lore Studios is. Um, this is, I'm super stoked to open this up, kind of uh, revamp the deck that I have, the current, or revamp the deck that's inside. Uh, with some of these Guardians and Synergy cards I have and some of the Exalted Rares I might pull from the booster set. But this is awesome, man. This just goes to show that it, that, that company is supports their consumers and uh, is really, really oriented at building their game and putting the word out there and making their customers happy. Like, this is... Man, I don't even know what to say. This is 
fucking awesome, man. This is cool as shit. Uh, I'm super stoked to open this and play it. Uh, let's see what else we got. Now, this is pretty dope. I can say I've never seen these before in any TCG game I've played. At least, I mean, I've seen counters before, but I've never seen them designed quite like this. Uh, so, uh, those of you that might not play TCGs, uh, trading card games, uh, usually you have uh, hit points uh, uh, and stuff like that, health points for your, uh, for, for legions, it's uh, uh, your warlord, and for like magic, it's your commander. And for flesh and blood, it's your warrior. But you have hit points. Well, these are hit point counters. So you uh, you go ahead and throw it on whatever your hit point is. It's got little arrows on it. I say my hit point was 62. If I get hit, I can count it down to 61 or whatever until I hit zero. It's just easier instead of like using a calculator or doing math or whatever. But uh, it, they sent me not one, not two, not three, but four counters for the game. It's... This is perfect because I play with a few people, Legions, Realms at War. So uh, this is pretty dope that the company sent me this. Uh, all just for saying thank you for doing a review on their game, which I wasn't even looking to get any free merchandise from this company. Um, I just really enjoyed their game. Because people are often asked, hey, why are you so into trading card games or board games or tabletop role-playing games? Well, uh, as most of you know, I am a uh, military veteran. I have uh, PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, so sometimes it's hard for me to go out into social gatherings and, and things like that. Um, so having trading card games and board games and tabletop role-playing games to hang out with friends like, in your house so you don't have to go anywhere or a local card shop like Natural 20 Works. It's not like, you know, picky with their clientele. Um, games like this are a blast for me. Um, so, yeah, I just love TCG games, but uh, this is this is pretty cool so far. Like, these counters are, I love the style of them, like the way they sit uh, and stuff. Like, just able to turn, they're super easy to turn. So, I definitely got some people that will be getting some of these counters. Uh, and then, of course, uh, some of these cards I'll go through with my friends and we'll open them up. And uh, I'll open a couple up. I'll open a couple here on this live, just see if we pull anything super cool. Um, but, yeah, I, I wish I could say I was done with the box, but I'm not. So, let's see what else we got. All right, this is pretty heavy. Man, I don't know what to say, man. This is this is super cool because I know this. I know the prices of this stuff personally, and it's not cheap so far. So for a company to just send me this stuff to say thank you for doing a review of a game I just like to play um, with my friends and wanting really nothing out of it, um, just for them to send me stuff like this to say thank you is I don't even know what to say. It's it's unbelievable. All right, so this is cool as shit. I'm not gonna lie. I almost bought one of these at my local card shop, Natural Twenty Works, um, but I didn't. Because I have so many other TCG games and stuff I play, but uh, I see Eric Strickland is trying to compete with me with the likes. <laughs> yeah, I see that too. So this is cool. So every gamer, TCG uh, TCG gamer, needs a play mat. So play mats are what you play your cards on. It just kind of makes it easier to slide the cards around, pick them up, and stuff like that. I think that. Uh, Legions, Realms at War, Future Lore Studios design. I think they have one of the coolest fucking play mats I've ever seen. And here it is. Um, I just love the artwork. That orc, is, which is the warlord for the orc deck, is super dope looking. This 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 mat is massive. This is definitely the biggest mat I've ever seen for a TCG game. But I love it because it has spots for your warriors, spots for unified, fortified cards, warlord synergy, um, and your veil and stuff like that so you know where to put them so you don't ever forget. Um, this is dope. I wish... <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. This is fucking awesome. Uh, they didn't send me one. Uh, they didn't send me two. They didn't send me three. But they sent me four, which is super fucking cool because I got friends that play this game with me all the time and we're wanting play mats. So I will definitely be handing these play mats out 
to a couple of uh, friends of mine um, that play with me. Um, so yeah, definitely could be. Uh, finally got here. Says Opal Interkin, a, a big supporter of the page. Um, thanks for showing up. And her sister Lily, of course, uh, Eric Strickland, Amber Potter, my wife. And we know Aaron's lurking in there, my old compadre of Netflix and Chills, who I wish was here with me right now because uh, when when uh, when Aaron left the show, uh, the comedy died because he was the funny one in the group. Except for when we would drink coffee on our review show and he'd find a funny part of the movie and spit the coffee all over me, which is, if you go back on my YouTube video uh, channel, which I definitely plan on uh, resurrecting, it's been dead for a year now because I haven't done any content creating, but uh, you can probably find that video somewhere on there. But uh, yeah, he spit coffee all over me. It was, and all over my computer and all my electronics in this room, So, which is my, my game room, which as you can tell, I'm a huge uh, huge comic book collector and fan. So uh, uh, this whole room is nothing but that stuff. So, But yeah, so we got, so far we got four play mats, which I already know who I'm going to be giving some of these play mats to. We got two booster set boxes. We have this awesome fucking um, hero and orc deck. Four counters. Uh, let's see what else we got. Kyle is here. He is uh, part of the Vetflix and Chills page as well. He's in my Discord as well. He's uh, local, supports the Natural 20 Works. He's uh, also a huge, huge uh, Legions, Realm at War, uh, Realms at War uh, fan. Uh, we haven't, unfortunately, crossed paths yet. Uh, the day he was up at the local card shop playing games, uh, we he had just left when we walked in there. But I definitely want to get some games in with him. Uh, it's and that's what's the good thing about TCGs and 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 board games and tabletop role playing games is you can just meet people at these places and play games and have a good time, and then you can make these friendships and these bonds. Uh, and you can like some of the people that we've played with. Uh, we just we're all really good friends now. We just kind of found out we all like TCG games. Got together one night, and now we're all good friends. Opal is one of them. Um, we met through where we work, and then found out she was a huge uh, fan of TCG games and stuff like that. She's a huge nerd as well. Uh, and her sister Lily and a few other people. Uh, my good friend Marcelo. Uh, just kind of all. That's how we all met. Was that we had an interest in these kinds of games and stuff. So. Yeah, I don't even say. So we got four, four of these dope ass play mats, man. I can't get over how dope these are. I've seen them before. I wanted one, uh, but now I have four of them. Uh, like I said, these counters, man. I've never seen them like this. They're pretty dope. The two booster box sets and the uh, hero and orc deck. I'm super stoked. But we got one more thing in this box. Let me, uh, pull it out here. It's a tube. I, I love the logo, man, the Realms at War logo. So I'm wondering if that's like, it was, we're supposed to call it Legion's Raw. I don't know. But I just call it Legion of Realms at War. Try to get the name out there, but I'll see what's in this tube. And I don't want to go yanking shit out of here in case it... All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's see. I'm going to look first, and I'll show all you guys. So. All right, well, me and Taylor Howe have some problems now, the CEO of uh, Future Lore Studios that sent me all this stuff. Me and I have some problems now. Because now I'm going to have to find some blank space on my wall, which I don't have in this room. Um, I might have to uh, get rid of a couple of these posters back here. Uh, but they sent me something really cool and something very personal, which I... I'm super stoked about. So, I'll show the first one off. I'll do a little, I'll come back a little bit. So we got this dope ass Legions Realms at War poster. And you all probably can't see it. I'll try to get a little bit closer. Uh, but you can definitely tell it is not, it is definitely done with a paint marker. It was, it was definitely custom done. Um, it says, thanks Andrew. And then Taylor Howe, the CEO of uh, Future Lore Studio. So. Uh, yeah, clear the wall. Uh, most definitely. This stuff is definitely going up because I'm going to be doing a lot of content on uh, Legion's Realms at War just because I love the game and I want to try to put the put the uh, game out there as much as possible, help build it up here in the States. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, first one. Uh, and then we have the second one, which 
I love this second one. It's super cool. And it also has, thanks, Andrew, Taylor Howe on it as well. Uh, this is the, uh, the other one. So yeah, these are definitely gonna probably not only go up in my, uh, on my wall, but as you can tell, like some of these other ones, they're, they're kind of, you know, they're cheap little Walmart posters that I got. Um, in the background here, as you guys can see, uh, um, so a couple of those are gonna have to come down. I'm probably gonna frame these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna frame these and, and hang them up on my wall in the background. So when I do some content, uh, I'm, uh, supporting their game, um, so yeah, man, it's like I said, dude, I, I'm sorry that I dropped this content so sporadically and last minute. Um, like I said, I did not, uh, those are frontiers too. Oh man, that set is going to be dope. Yeah, it's going to be pretty dope. Um, like I said, I, I didn't expect to, uh, do this content, uh, but I thought it was important to do because we got the box today and I was super psyched to open it and see what we got. And, uh. You know, I'm a pretty simple person. Um, it it doesn't take a lot to get me excited. Like, this is... Like, I, I get excited over anything, but this is, like, blowing my fucking mind. Like, I don't even know what to say to Future Lore Studios or Taylor Howe, the CEO, who I've spoke with several times um, through messages and stuff. And he's just been super supportive of the game, the consumers of the game, listening to our complaints and our gripes or what we do like about it what we don't like it like i said there's no game out there that's perfect um magic has its issues uh flesh and blood i've only played it once so i can't uh i'll do a review on it later on after i play a little bit more but uh flesh and blood i can't say a whole lot on yet only because i've only played it once we just went and picked up a blitz deck last night and a few booster packs and uh, so I can't really... But every game has its its issues when it first comes out. Um, Legion's Realms at War, even with like the small things that I see, they could be, they could be worked out later on uh, as the game progresses. I mean, this isn't a game that's going to go away anytime soon. Uh, Legion's Realms at War is not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, anytime soon. I, at first, I was kind of a little hesitant wanting to buy a product. Uh, because you never know with new TCG games. They come and go. They come and go. Especially one that's, uh, you know, created in Canada by Future Lore Studios, where we're here in the States and we don't know much about the company. And uh, that's something else I have to uh, address as well is uh, when I spoke during my review, I said the cards have no trade value. Well, I'm a man that can admit his mistakes, and that is 100% not true. There may no may not be any trade value here in the United States simply because the game is only uh, in five stores in the entire United States when just luckily the store here is. Um, but there is trade value to these cards. You can go um, to nerdscafe.com uh, and uh, you can see and it's a it's a it's a uh, game store in Canada. Uh, you can go to their website and you can see these cards definitely have trade value. One of the Guardian cards I have, well, actually the only Guardian card I have so far, uh, hoping to pull that Guardian, Demon Guardian tonight, but the one Guardian I do have, which is for the Hero deck, is worth like 40 bucks. Um, and then I have a few other Exalted Rares and stuff that are worth a good amount of money in Canada. Yes, they might not be worth something here right now, but when this game does blow up, and I guarantee you it will at some point here in the States blow up and, and be be a, uh, a a name that we know um when that happens these cards are going to be just as as uh, profitable here as they are there i'm sure uh i know that even um kyle who's part of this st uh stream right now watching the stream right now he's already been like hey i got these cards i want to do a trade for these um because he's trying to build a master's uh deck so our master set so even the small community that is right now which it probably is just a handful of us here in the States uh, or here in, in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Anyways, uh, we're all loving the game so far. I mean, there's a few haters. Um, of course, I got my friend Marcelo. Uh, me and him play a lot of TCG games. He's not 100% sold on the game yet. Um, with that said, we've only played, me and him have only played it twice. Uh, but I've played it with some of my other friends several times. Um, he's not completely sold on it yet. It, but 
He also comes from Magic the Gathering, which he's been collecting for years and years and years. And it's very hard pulling somebody from a game like Magic when they've been collecting for years and they just don't. You, Magic is already that game that if you want to keep a competitive deck, you're going to have to spend money to do that. Um, I have responsibilities. I have four boys who are getting ready to start life that I have to uh, financially support uh, as, as well as a household and, and you know stuff like that. So um, being out, they being able to go out and, and buy $100 worth of cards to revamp a deck that I've built, uh, that's not in my budget um, just because I try to be somewhat responsible with my money. Like even last night when I went and picked up a, a flesh and blood um, – blitz deck and some booster packs i was even like oh, i don't know if i should buy this stuff and i felt like i always joke and say my wife's my financial banker or backer and i always mess her and be like hey is it okay to get this because i always feel guilty spending money on especially on trading card games because my wife's not a trading card game player so she doesn't understand like the value behind the cards and stuff but she's supportive with anything i do uh so she tries to take interest in it she, she you know she listens to me um and that's what a marriage is about. Sometimes if you don't like something somebody's into, whether you like it or not, you listen and you, and you, uh, you uh, respect that person. So I, I, I like the fact that she does that. But like I said, um, I, I just don't have money to dump into a game like that. Hundreds of dollars all the time. And that's why I think I like Legions, uh, Realms at War. is because it's a very, very, very balanced game. I never feel like... So when I play with my friend Marcelo and I bust out like my standard deck of green and blue and he busts out his rat deck and i just watch him crush me with like 50 rats on the table and i have nothing uh it's not a very balanced game i usually end up losing like 32 to like negative like 10 uh and that, that's not always fun for people to lose like that legions realms of war is a little bit more balanced i've never i've played one game where i just got my ass beat and it was against my son samuel uh, who was playing the undead deck and I was playing the uh, Titans and he he absolutely fucking demolished me with that deck just because it was also the first time I've ever played the Titan deck so I wasn't really sure what was going on with that deck uh, but any other game I've ever played has been fairly close game and it's very well balanced because in magic as people know you can summon as many creatures as you want as long as you have the mana or our land to play it Legions doesn't have a land-based mana value, so you can just play a card, but you can only play one, you can only conscript one warrior per turn, so you're not having like 15 fucking creature cards on the uh, field to just get annihilated with. Um, all my games with Casey were very balanced as well. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. It's just like you're not just getting your ass fucking handed to you the entire time to where it's like, uh, I don't really want to play this game, or you just get tired of playing it and you want to, you know... And that's one of the reasons, I'll be really honest, why I picked up Legion's Realms at War is I was just getting my ass handed to me every night, night after night in Magic uh, because I refused to go buy cards to build these decks. Um, give me all the Mystics and Dead cards. That's my son. So he's, me and him are super into this game. Uh, we'll talk about that. We'll see what we pull. Uh, you and me, uh, we'll open some booster packs and we'll see. We'll see about that. It depends on what, what's pulled. Um, but anyways, um, I, I see he made me lose my train of thought because he's already trying to help. See, see, this is what it is with responsibility of the kids. Money's not enough giving them and, and stuff. Like, I let him drive my car to Nashville today to go take his test for the military. But now he's wanting me to, you know, give him all the goddamn cards out of my box. Uh, might have a few for you. But uh, thanks, Kyle. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's why I really like the game. That's why I came to Legion's Realms at War. I was, I was just getting my ass handed to me night after night. And I was just kind of like, okay, I don't want to play Magic for a while. Um, I didn't really know anything about Flesh and Blood um, until just like maybe a week ago. Um, but uh, Natural 20 Works had posted an uh, a, uh, Instagram feed and it was like, hey, I got this new game. I was like, okay. So then I looked up the game and was watching um, uh, a couple of reviewers uh, play it. And I was like, okay, this seems kind of cool. So I went up to Natural 20 Works. I was surprised because these... These dual pack decks, which are I, I think they're so fucking cool because you can buy this for like I'll tell you the price of this one. It's twenty three bucks in our store. But what I like about these these is that you can have there's two decks of them. So if you want to play a friend, boom, you pull a deck right out of here. Boom, you pull a deck right out of here, and you're playing. Like they're the 
the decks are already built. You could play right out of the box. There's no like building the decks and stuff like that. Um, and just playing it, like it just felt so much more balanced where I wasn't getting my ass beat like, you know, all the time. That the demon deck is a rough one to play, man. It's it's a hard deck to play. It's it's a vicious deck. Um, but uh, I do plan on definitely checking out this hero deck because it's the one I, and the orc deck because uh, I have some exalted rares and stuff like that I want to throw in there and, and play. And I'm not really too sure on the uh, deck building of this game yet. I, I know what I can have in there and can't have in there, but it's with Legion's Realms at War, it's a lot of reading. You have to really read the cards and know what they mean and how to play them. And like I said, your fortified cards, your, like, your trap cards... Uh, Marcelo says rat decks, rat decks, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I bet he is probably running around in his house chanting it, but, um, yeah, like your fortified cards are like your trap cards. You can only play on your, uh, opponent's turn. Your unified cards are like buffers, like spells to help you out. Um, and you play on your turn, and of course you can just crypt your warrior and stuff like that. So I'm super stoked to, uh, to try this out. Um, like I said, man, um, uh, this is super cool, uh, Future Lore Studios, if you're watching Taylor Howe, if you're watching the CEO of the company, um, I did not expect this. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm very, very speechless. Um, I'm a very humble person. Uh, for me, just doing a review on your game um, because I liked it, not because I was looking for any free product, and you just to send me this um, is, like I said, I'm speechless. I have no idea what to say. Um, like I said, they listened to me when I said I... I'm really wanting to try out the hero deck. Um, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm going to get around to getting it. Um, and this is customer service 100%, man. Uh, sent me this. Uh, exactly what I was not asking for, but just saying, hey, I want to try out the deck. So I have no idea what to say with this. Um, super stoked. We're just going to go through one more time what we got because I have no idea what to say. We got uh, the four counters, which I just I love the look. I, I love the look of these uh, these ones right here. I, I just like the colors. Yeah, it's super dope, um, and I love their little logo on it, man. I like the the realms at war, uh, L R A W. You can see the L kind. It's legions realms at war. I love the little logo scratched in there or etched in there. It's super dope. Um, so yeah, we got that. Um, we got the two booster set boxes. The two two sign posters saying thanks for my review of their game um and of course the four play mats which i mean like i said i'm not gonna tell you guys how much this stuff costs if you want to you want to google it yourself and find out how much it costs but i can tell you it's a pretty penny it's not cheap and um for them to watch my review and appreciate my review my honest honest review because like i said it didn't get a 10 out of 10 it got a 6 out of 10 for now. That doesn't mean I'm not going to go back later on and re-review this game when they uh, when they grow. I know they got a lot of expansions. That's why I was trying to say earlier. I already know Taylor Howe told me that they don't just have this year locked and loaded, but they have next year as well of expansions they're going to drop. So this game's not going anywhere uh, anytime soon. Um, dope as fuck. Yes, it is, Samuel, and um, don't worry. You will get one of the play mats, I, I, I promise you, because uh, we play it all the time. So, um, yeah, uh, I like I said, they didn't get a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, they got a 6 out of 10, which is still great. It's just, there's just some things that got to be worked out. I, I love playing, like, group games. Um, just as of right now, uh, Legion's Realms at War is a one versus one style game now it's not saying you can't make up your own rules and do three versus three which we've done before but i love games where you can have a partner and you can kind of team up and play and just because they don't have that format now doesn't mean they won't have that format later on in the future as the game progresses uh like i said uh a lot of the things i i had complaints about um are just me as a consumer like i wasn't a big fan of like like, I love the artwork on the box. I love the artwork on the cards. I absolutely love them. I hate to fucking, like, re-review it real quick, but I just want to express, like... But I don't like the way they're packed inside. It's just a little flimsy for me. And, like, a lot of my review, like, my, a lot of my negative uh, 
facts or a lot of my negative things on the game or just simple little things like that, which I look as a consumer, but I don't look at as the business end of it. But as the business end of it, you have to kind of ask yourself, okay, the company is not going to – Future Lore Studio is not going to put – tons and tons and tons of money onto their packaging when they're a new game trying to get out there and, and for instance like i said there's only five stores in the whole united states right now selling this game as it's trying to grow i personally as a businessman i and if i ran a business i wouldn't be dumping all my money into the packaging either it would definitely go on the cards but the the artwork on the cards is there the uh the durability of the cards is there um it's just it's there uh, it's just that but these are like little kinks like i said that can be worked out later on in the future as well as like the different formats of the game because not every game's gonna have like 15 formats to play when it first comes out you gotta kind of work it out and try to figure out okay how can we make this a multiplayer game uh maybe they'll design a different play mat where you can conscript two warriors in, at a time instead of one or whatever i don't know they'll figure it out it's an amazing company. I have absolute faith that they are not going to go anywhere for a while. We're going to see it um, grow. I know that in April there is a huge uh, trading card game con going on in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, which is just a few hours from me. I'm trying to get my friend Marcelo to go. I'm hoping that uh, we are able to go because I definitely would like – I've already reached out to Taylor Howe and asked him if it was okay, if maybe if I ended up going to this event – um, if I could take some Allegiant stuffs in there and kind of walk around with some of the vendors and show them the game to try to kind of give the game a little bit more clout and uh, show people that it's here. Uh, because that's – it's hard. I'm pretty sure it's hard for a game based out of Canada, created out of Canada, to advertise here in the United States. Uh, yeah, Louisville, Kyle, um, it's in April. It's on a Saturday. I can't remember the exact date. Um, I'll uh, – I think uh, – Kuro Chibara sent a link in the Discord, in the general chat of our Discord, with the uh, with it. And you can just click on the link, and it'll take you. And then you can go to the Facebook page or whatever, and it'll show you like the event. Um, but it's uh, I want to say it's towards the beginning of April. It's on a Saturday, which is like I said, only three hours away. I think it'd be. I go to a lot of cons, anyways. I've gone. I've went to a lot of the uh, hero villain cons. Um, I went to a couple of Star Wars cons and stuff like that with some friends. Like, I'm a huge, huge fan of cons because uh, I'm a massive fucking nerd, and, and that's okay, um, as we all are, I'm sure, at some degree. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think about going. I definitely would like to, uh, to take this game and kind of highlight it or kind of showcase it to some of the vendors that might be there that might not know. I'm hoping maybe they have some tables open at the CCG con. I can't see why they wouldn't. It would, it would drive me crazy if they didn't have some tables open for people that are there to sit down and play some games with each other while they're at the con. But if it is there, uh, I think that would be super dope uh, to uh, bust that game. Bust that. I mean, can you imagine like going to a fucking con and never seeing this game and just seeing this map and be like, this mat alone would be like, Wait, what the fuck is this, man? This mat's massive. And what's all this shit on there? And then you bust out like these cards with like this beautiful artwork. And these, these dope-ass counters and stuff, and you're just playing it at a table. I feel like it would catch some people's attention. They'd be like, okay, what is this game? What are you playing? Uh, and then maybe it might get a little bit more noticeability here in the States to where people are like, okay, I know about Legion's Realms at War. I want to play it. So anyways, I'm not going to waste any more time. Betty, I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, like I said, this was just like a last-minute video. I didn't even expect it to go this long. I guess, you know, before we go, I was going to end it real quick, but... I would feel really shitty if I didn't at least open, bust open this booster set box and just open. I said this last stream that I was just going to open, uh, or last live that I was just going to open a couple and uh, I ended up opening the whole fucking thing. Uh, because if you're a TCG gamer, uh, uh, this shit right here is super addicting opening packs. Because when you pull that one, like, you could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these. And you pull that one good card, it would feel like you feel like victorious. Like there's just something addicting about opening these cards and this. And I'll be really honest. Um, I opened up some flesh and blood booster packs last night. Was not a too big of a fan of the packaging. Um, I just like like this is a lot similar to Magic: The Gathering uh, packaging. I just love the, like that, that crumpling sound. Like. 
when you're opening flesh and blood, it's just paper, and you're like, oh, okay. But there's just like that that crinkling sound, man, uh, of the cards. So we'll just open a few here. I promise, just a few, and then uh, we'll see what we 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 draw here. So, uh, so yeah, I think oh, yeah, this like this. So. Got to unify. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my kid screaming in the background. He's obviously not in the mood today. So uh, let me see, and then I'll show you guys what we got. I just love the artwork on these cars, man. Like, man, look at this. Like, just look at this artwork, man. Like, it might not be for everybody, but I love the artwork on these cars, man. I think they are so beautifully done. Like, just the artwork. And just the flavor text, man. It's I look, Our belief in the hood is very well placed. They will always come to the need of the resistance. Like, I just love... And that's from the... The hood become the resistance. And that is this card. I just love, like, the, uh, the artwork on some of these. And I know I don't do, like card opening packs like most people where they got the uh the 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 camera down and you know you're like this and all you can see is their hands and opening cards because like so that's what makes my content a little bit different i'm not gonna edit my videos everything's gonna be live because i think live reactions are like the best reactions and then i think like editing videos is just one i don't have the time for it but two just i want people to see like realism man i don't want people to see like uh uh, a video that was like 15 minutes long and I've edited it for like 10 hours and it cut it down to like a five minute video. Like just want my stuff to be more real as realistic. So more realism. So, oh, man, so this is cool, man. I, I love the angel deck. I just wish I could play it a little bit better. Um, but I love the angel cards. Like they're fucking awesome, but I just can't play that goddamn deck. It's like, it's a definitely learning curve with the angel deck. This this board is pretty cool, man. So I yeah some of the, some of these I already got on the last um, the last one. We'll open uh, we'll open two more, and I promise we'll uh, end the live, and then I'll of course I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll throw it in the Discord and on Facebook later, on this Facebook page later, of any, like, Exalted Rares or anything that I might pull, or cards that I'm just like, yeah, I just love the fucking look of this card, which is just about every card. Like, like the artwork, man. I just like, it's full card artwork, which is one of my complaints about Flesh, uh, flesh and Blood. The cards are just, like... The game is super fun, what we played of it, but the, the cards are just, there's a lot of uh, open white space on it, which I'm not a fan of, but like magic and like cards like this, I just love how it's like full artwork style on the actual card. It's pretty cool. So, all right, so we'll open two more. Like, and it's colorful as shit. It's just super dope cards, man. What's gonna happen? is um, I'm going to open, like, a pack off stream, and there's going to be something really cool in it, and I'm going to have shit my pants, and nobody's going to have seen, like, my reaction, and I'm going to regret. Uh, Fab has full arts, but they are more rare. I totally agree. Yeah, I know Flesh and Blood has uh, full arts. I've seen them. Um, I'm just saying, like, but, uh, like, a majority of their cards aren't full art. But I, I've seen, like, some of their full art cards um, uh, when I looked at the, uh, when I looked at them all the other day. Because, like I said, I did a little bit of research with my friend uh, Marcelo before we went and bought some Blitz Packs. Which, you know, Blitz Packs weren't that bad. They were only, like, uh, 15 bucks for a Blitz Pack. So I was kind of surprised. And I do like the fact that it comes with, like, a little um, card carrier. Like a little deck, uh, like like you'd buy like uh, playing cards. I like to have they have that little uh, box for the cards, um, which is like like I said, I wish like um, that's one of the things like was one of my complaints about uh, this game. I wish like this 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 box 
was a little bit bigger, like you kind of know, like the $40 uh, 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 booster boxes for Magic, where it's a little bit more hard shelled and you can actually store your cards in it. Because if you're just now getting into TCG games and you don't really have storage for the cards, it's nice to have that option. All right, here's a Dragon card, which is pretty cool. And I think it goes, yeah, it goes with the uh, Mythical Beast. Uh, but this dragon's pretty fucking cool. Which I know there's a card in the deck and that you get that uh, plays off of dragons. So maybe adding some of these um, dragons into that deck would be uh, beneficial. Uh, it's a pretty cool fortified card. And this is one of my favorite token cards. Uh, it's for the demon deck. It's one of my favorite token cards. I, don't, I just love the fucking artwork on it. It's pretty cool, but... All right, we'll open. I said, like, one more, like, 50 fucking minutes ago, but we're going to do one more, I fucking promise, and then I'll uh, I'll let everybody uh, go enjoy their Friday night because I'm sure people have better things to do on Friday night than watch Netflix and Chills open booster packs. Like, I have this one, too, but I just like this one. I'll show this one off. I think it's pretty cool, man. I really like the Mystical Beast and the Pink Horror Chicken Tokens. <laughs> yeah. Mystical Beast is a... Uh, uh, so there's so there's decks that I don't like to play with. I've never, never, never been a fan of like undead decks where you constantly pull from your graveyard. I've just never been a fan of decks like that. I don't know why. Um, I'm more of aggressive, like aggro, aggressive attacking kind of style, which I feel like with the demon deck is very, very aggressive because I'm constantly stealing cards and using your own cards against you. Um, I did play with the dwarf deck, which I absolutely crushed the demon deck with. Uh, but I did notice there's a lot of pulling from like your uh, eradication zone and stuff with the dwarf deck, which I was kind of like pleasantly surprised I actually enjoyed because I don't usually like stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Lamonte Walker, thank you for uh, being part of live. I know that you're in training there for the military, so it's nice to see that they let you, uh, enjoy a little bit of, uh, Netflix and Chills content creation for uh, Friday night. They probably wouldn't let you go anywhere, so you're stuck there, but if you guys don't know, Lamonte Walker has, uh, just joined the military, so, uh, yeah, as, as a veteran, I definitely know what that's like, not being able to go anywhere and just sitting in a barracks room all night. So, and here we go. I said I was not going to open any more cards, and here I am. I'm just yammering away, opening more. This is the last one, I swear to God. Uh, okay, this one's pretty dope. This Titan card is pretty cool, man. Really digging that. I just love the demon deck because it's just so, like, mean-looking, man, and aggressive-looking. Loretta Metters Interkin is watching. Well, hello, Loretta. How are you? Uh, I was just telling um, Amber the other night that we're going to all have to get together. I'm going to, I think after her night of pool with your husband, uh, playing pool, uh, I think she's going to force me to go ahead and buy a pool table and stuff like that so we can just have uh, some games nights over here at the house uh, because I think she got that, like, that funk to want to play pool man again. Like, she was having a blast. Um... We, we, we were very grateful that you guys were so welcoming to us uh, last weekend uh, when we uh, surprised uh, Opal for her birthday party. Um, you guys were so welcoming, man. You made us feel like family, and we really appreciated that. So, but I think that night is now going to force me to have to buy my wife a uh, pool table. So This card is cool. I want to show this one off real quick before we end the live. This card is super, super badass. I really dig this card, which is part of the uh, orc cards. So... It's pretty cool. It's got Recover 3. When this warrior enters play, the controlling player can choose to reduce the damage counter max, which is your health, uh, to their Warlord by the Recover number. So, it's a pretty dope card. I have a few of those in some of my other decks. but Okay, I'm not going to waste any more anybody else's time. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming to the live tonight. Uh, definitely more people in here than I thought. I know this is only my second live since uh or my second content creating video since being gone for almost a year uh but uh and i didn't expect to do any content creating this week due to being sick and going out of town but here we are um but anyways i'm gonna be trying to do a couple videos a week if i can um if not we definitely are uh, i definitely want to cover legions realms at war a couple more times i want to do some gameplay on it i want to also um have some friends over so we can do like a round table 
and kind of talk about our likes and dislikes of the game, what other people's opinions are of it, um, not just mine, because I'm not the only one that plays it, but I got a couple of friends that are going to come over, we're going to rap about the game a little bit, and and uh, maybe play a couple games so people can see how it uh, actually is uh, done. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, we're going to do that, and then Wednesday at 7 o'clock, because... Caleb asked me, one of the uh, followers of Netflix and Chills, he asked me to do a little bit of comic book gossiping talk. So we're going to do, uh, on Wednesday at 7 o'clock Central, we're going to do some comic book chit-chat where I'm going to introduce you guys. Some of you may know it. I, one, I love both Marvel and DC. But if anybody knows me, I'm a DC fan. I like the darker, grittier stuff with comics. Um, I'm going to introduce guys to one of my favorite uh, comic books. Oh, I think it's one of the best stories DC has dropped in a very, very long time. Super, super stoked. Oh, yeah, comics, man. Uh, right back here, you can't see it, but in this glass case, I have a Fantastic Four number one. It'll never come out of this glass case, um, as well as many, many other high-priced comic books um, that I've collected over the years. What I bought that comic book for, I won't tell you. I just will tell you it's not what you think. Uh, my wife stumbled upon it and said, oh, look, this comic looks really pretty. Do you like it? And I said, put that shit in your hand and let's go pay for it for the price they're wanting because we got to leave this place before they find out what they have. But I bought that Fantastic Four number one for a very, 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 very low price because my wife thought it was pretty, which I will tell you right now, most of the comic books I have that are worth a, a, a tremendous amount of money came from my wife who said that she liked the covers because they were pretty. And then I about shit my pants every time she came and showed me one and quickly said, we're, we're checking out and leaving. Uh, and I've got a lot of them in my, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I got a lot of, I gotta move this. Uh, I got a lot of them in this glass case behind me and stuff. So, um, and I've, yeah, I've got this tall glass case with some collectibles in it as well. So huge, huge, huge comic book collector and TCG game collector, as you guys can tell, but yeah, uh, so we'll be doing some comic book chit-chat on Wednesday where I'll be introducing you to one of my favorite uh, DC uh, detective comic books. Uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys what it is now. Um, we're going to be talking about Injustice, Gods Among Us, which, you know, Marvel is has those what-if comics, like what if Uncle Ben never died? How would that have altered Spider-Man? How would he be as a superhero uh Injustice is a little bit, because those are one series, uh, one comic kind of, and one and done kind of comics. Um, Injustice is a huge series, um, and it kind of answers the fact, what if what if Superman was bad? What if he ruled the world? Which is one of my favorite comic books. We're going to rap about that one a little bit. Um, and then eventually, I'll throw some Marvel stuff in there too, because I don't dislike Marvel. I just prefer DC because it's darker and grittier. But we'll do some comic book chit-chat on Wednesday at 7 uh, Central. So if you guys are interested in uh, comic books, come on, hang out. Uh, we'll rap about comic books a little bit. Um, I don't try to force anybody to come to Vetflix and Chills uh, and watch my content. You, I don't want any money for it. It's just something I like to do, have fun and chit-chat with people and talk. And, uh, yeah, so we'll do some com com comic book, blah, 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 comic book chit-chat on Wednesday. And uh, before we leave, one more shout out to Future Lore Studios, creators of uh, Legion's Realms at War, CEO Taylor Howe. Uh, like I said, I, I'm i speechless. Like It's very hard to make me speechless. Um, I've never been good at being a recipient of gifts. Um, I'm kind of like Steve Carell in Anchorman uh, when he's like, I love Lamp because he doesn't know what to do. Um, I've, I've always been like that with uh, gifts. Um, uh, like inside, internally, like... I'm probably like a, a kid at a fucking circus doing backflips and shit and flipping out. Uh, I said, but I just, I, I don't know what to do when I receive gifts. I'm just a bad gift recipient. So, uh, but know that internally I am flipping out. Um, I have no idea what to say um, about what you guys sent. I, I, like I said, I personally know the cost of all this stuff and it just blows my mind that you guys appreciated my content so well especially after being gone for a year and dropping just content out of the blue and you guys watching it and liking it and being appreciative enough to send me stuff uh it just it just fuels my need to want to create more content and definitely cover legions realms at war some more which we will be doing in the future and we will keep coming back to it every expansion that comes out um 
I will attempt to buy a booster set box. Like I said, I got a lot of responsibilities with four boys, um, but at least I'll I'll grab a cute couple of booster packs or whatever, and we'll open them. And we'll see kind of what the difference of the cards are, how it might change the game up a little bit. Um, and we'll do stuff like that. But Legions of Realms at War, uh, if you're interested in playing it, shoot me a message in the Facebook. Uh, I also have a Discord link. You can uh, join our Discord. You can uh, uh, talk to us all there. We have some fun. There's some fun community games. Uh, we, we share cards that we pull and stuff like that. Deck building tips for uh, magic and everything. Like that. If you have deck, deck building tips for uh, legions, please share them in the Discord because some of us are a little confused and what we might be looking for to uh, revamp our deck a little bit, um, especially some of the new TCG players in the Discord. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, check out our Discord and stuff like that. And uh, again, thanks to uh, Taylor Howe. Uh, Future Lore Studios, creators of Legions, Realms at War. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. Uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in the game, check out Natural 20 Works. They have the cards there for you to get. Buy the game. Hit us up on our Discord or send us a message. We can meet up at Natural 20 Works at some point. If you're interested in learning the game, playing the game, I know Kyle is a huge, huge fan of Legions. He's, he's probably way way more advanced in it than I am. Um, there might be some mechanics I'm fucking up in the game that he's going to know better about. Uh, but he's always asking people in our Discord, hey, you guys want to meet up for games, teach you how to play. Follow Natural 20 Works. He posts on there a lot. But yeah, if you guys are interested in games, hit us up on our Discord. Hit us up on the Facebook. We'll definitely meet up for some games. And uh, maybe if you're not a fan of TCG games, we'll make you a fan of TCG games. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a great night, and everybody stay safe. Thanks for show, showing up and uh, supporting the channel. Have a good night.